All right, Shalom. This is the brother of Warabai, Great Millstone, Dallas. Coming back to you again with another lesson. Before I kick it off, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and blessings to you, Akim, that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the planet Earth, all right? And tonight's lesson, basically, the topic that I want to go into is um, just being tactful when preaching and, and, and when you're out on the highways and the byways or when you're doing your regular sit downs or you putting up lessons. OK, it's a, it's a it's you know, tactful speech is a blessing. It's a it's it's a beautiful thing in itself. And I think that uh, all of us across the across the four corners of the planet Earth can actually use this and be better. You know, and it's an actual I put it out. Yeah, I'm challenging brothers to and I'm challenging myself also to just be a little bit better tactfully because we got fruit that is out there, you know, listening to us that, you know, we may have people that are in front of us, you know, while we're preaching or people that may watch our videos, you know, and I watch our lessons. OK, you know, and being tactful is a really good thing. Having a way to speak with people, you know, on different levels is a very, very key thing to have, okay? So the first scripture that I'm going to bring out is going to be uh, Colossians, all right? I'm going to get my handy-dandy blue letter Bible here, and I'm going to go to the book of Colossians, the fourth chapter and the sixth verse, okay? And it says, no, I'm going to start at five. It says, walk in wisdom toward them that are without, Okay? The people that are without are, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that are still Gentiles, man, that are not in the know, okay? Because they don't understand the truth. They don't have they don't have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai yet, okay? There, these are these are the the, uh, the the prospects, the the fruit, if you will, that is coming into this thing, okay? Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, okay? Seasoned with salt that ye may know how to, you know how, you may know how ye ought to answer every man. All right, so let's take a second to take a look at that word grace, okay? Let's go into the interlinear here and look up the etymology of what it's talking about in the Greek here, all right? Strong's G, 5485, charis, charis. Right, and grace is talking about that which affords joy, pleasure, delight, sweetness, charm, lovingness, grace of speech. Okay, so this is this is just talking about being gracious with the way you talk, man. Okay, because at one time, you know, there's you know, you've seen all these other Israelite groups and camps and things like that, where you'll be out, you've seen their videos where they're out on the highways and the byways. And they're cussing out the so-called white man or they're just really going in, you know, and it just seems like there's so much cussing that it's unedifying at times, you know. And so to prevent from being that way or to prevent uh, potential fruit from getting offended or your lesson from being unedifying, try to dial that back, you know, because at a time that was, you know, that was a thing to do. But we've grown past those times now, you know. These times, it's all about being apt to teach, you know, knowledge is, with knowledge is the stability of the times, according to the, according to the, pro, the prophecies, you know, and so uh, it, it would be wise to behoove you to try to challenge yourself to build up your, your vocabulary a little bit better, you know, and even though, you know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, going into a word or, or a profane word or whatever, because the scriptures tells you, you know, even though I'd be rude in speech, you know, not in knowledge, but at the same time, you know, everything, even though it's lawful, it's not always expedient. OK, so, you know, just even even a prime example, a lot of people don't even go into the etymology of words. All right. They don't even go into words. They don't know what words mean. They don't know where things come from. But here at us at Great Millstone, we go into the words, man. We go into the etymology of a word. Prime example. One word that most people may think is a really terrible word or a filthy word is the word shit. Okay? In reality, it's an acronym for uh, that they used back in the day whenever they used to transfer uh, manure or, or ship manure on ships, man. Okay? 
it actually means ship high in transit okay because when they used to do that they used to ship um manure on the the bottom decks of the uh the ships and one thing about manure and and fertilizer is it it, it ferments okay when it gets wet and so it'll start to produce what they call like a methane gas all right which can be highly flammable and so a lot of ships started to catch on fire when people would go down there with like a a lantern or, or a match or a candle they would catch on fire or they would blow up the ship so what they started to do was to ship manure bundles in high spots while it's in transit so that it could you know it could air out basically so it wouldn't be uh flammable like that okay so that's where you get the word shit all right a lot of a lot of these coons won't even get that you know or take the time to google it it's truly worth a google all right so yeah be mindful with how you talk okay let's get some more scripts let's go to titus uh titus the second chapter i really like uh titus the book of titus the second chapter man it's been uh doing a lot for me i've had a lot in my uh, a lot of my um last lessons just the lord's been using it for me so uh this is going to be titus the seventh uh the second chapter seventh verse and it says in all things showing thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine showing uncorruptness gravity and sincerity okay sound speech that cannot be condemned that he that is of a contrary part may be ashamed somebody that's speaking or that that is a naysayer on you when you're up there bringing it out and it's sound speech man it's, it's good knowledge you know to where it is edifying you know what i'm saying you are using words good words man you know and they don't necessarily have to be big words you know you just know what you're talking about and you're able to bring it out with with good sincerity to where it sounds good you know and the and, and people are getting edified by it okay so if you got a naysayer that's up there trying to you know talk bad to you or talk bad about you they they not gonna win man even the scriptures in luke you know i believe uh if the account is in the luke 21 i believe the 14th verse is it tells you that there's gonna be a um the lord's gonna give you a mouth where no adversary shall be able to gainsay man okay so if you got sound speech paired into that can't nobody have nothing to say against you man all right yeah so you ain't gonna be you know somebody tries to come up why you cussing why you doing this why you doing that you hey man you're a learned man you can go into it okay you can you can get on any level that you have to with it you know if you got an apostle or elder or elderly person that comes up you can use tact man you can use tact to get your point across without having to just blast them or curse them out or 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 offend them you know likewise when it comes with dealing with brothers same thing if you have a little bit of tact man okay and and, and you show prudence and diligence in how you speak to people you know you show true, true sincerity and how you speak to people man you'll get your point across a lot easier without uh you know causing strife or contentment man okay all right so i got another couple of scripts and then i'm gonna get out of here i didn't want to make this thing too long actually i'm gonna close with this last one that i got and this is a uh, proverbs the uh 16th chapter so and this will pretty much nail it home um but just be mindful Akyam. you know try to i challenge you guys to just you know be a little bit better with just you know learning better vocabulary and and, and dial back on the on the, the profanity or the cussing a little bit you know now this is a uh, proverbs 16 and 23 okay actually i'm gonna start at uh 21 says the the wise in heart shall be called prudent okay and the sweetness of the lips increases learning understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that hath it okay but the instruction of fools is folly the heart of the wise teacheth his mouth and addeth learning to his lips absolutely man so you know you don't have to be the the most well-spoken brother in a camp you know you, you, there's some brothers that's that 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 you know have a problem with stuttering or they they you know even myself you know i'm not the the greatest speaker 
But at the same time, you know, go in and add some things to your vocabulary to where you can use words in the way to, you know, to take the place of another word to where it won't be as offensive. You could offend fruit, man. You could offend the little ones. You could run off, you know, Gentiles that are getting ready to come into this thing that would have came in under you had you have had knowledge, wisdom, understanding to be able to add some in, some good wisdom and just into your vocabulary, man. Okay? All right, because, I mean, you know, just like the saying is, you know, you catch more, you catch more, uh, more flies with honey or whatever the, the saying is than, you know, than the other way around. Okay, so let's get the script. Let's get back to it. This is verse 23. The heart of the wise teacheth his mouth and addeth learning to his lips. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healthy to the bones. All right. It's real cool, man. And I'm not saying that you have to be a simp. You don't have to cater to every single person or whatever. But, you know, even though you can you can you can go into words and you can curse or whatever the case may be, you know, even though it is lawful, you know, all things that are lawful are not always expedient. Okay. So that's pretty much my point with that. All right. Uh, I hope this lesson's been edifying. And again, I'm going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and blessings to all of you brothers and sisters that are out there doing the work. Actually, all you sincere aqua that are out there doing your thing and listening. Shalom to you all.